Oregon, where Monica Webby, a pediatric neurosurgeon who was considered the front runner in the Senate Republican primary there, but in the last few days, reports have come out uh, to local media where a boyfriend accused her of stalking him. There are also police reports from 2007, 2009, uh, incidents with her now ex-husband. Her campaign issued a statement saying that this was the real war on women put out by Democrats on her leaking information. Mark. And the Oregonian, the newspaper out there, actually has documentation that it was Democrats that were the first to get the police record. So at a time, uh, certainly with the issue with the New York Times and, and them uh, firing their executive editor and this whole idea about the war on women, this is very dangerous territory for Democrats who are supposed to be taking care of women. That's their natural constituency. All right. Well, there you hear it. And welcome to Give Me Five. Uh, the uh, Oregon Republican U.S. Senate candidate, uh, Monica Webby, uh, her police records, uh, which uh, reportedly uh, showed past domestic disputes, um, were obtained and uh, put out by Democrats, even though she's a Republican who was running in the primary, uh, in a Republican primary, in an effort to uh, ruin her, to ruin her. And the point of view for, that you just heard there on CNN was that uh, this goes against, you know, uh, Democrats and being pro-women, and it's a dangerous place for them to be. But the women on the panel, the women on the panel here on CNN, they don't believe that. You see, I guess because she's a Republican woman. Watch. What do you do when you don't want a woman to win a Senate seat? You portray her as some kind of an emotional wreck. Okay, who can't possibly be trusted with the high office. So this is, th yep. this is what all of this does. It portrays her as somebody uh, who can't be trusted. And while it might not hurt her as much in the primary, it would certainly come back in a, in a general election. But, but all right, so that's, that's Gloria Borger, who um, it, it, she didn't say it was wrong. She said, what do you, want, what do, you do to somebody? You, 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 you portray them as an emotional wreck. She didn't say that was wrong to do. You know, she didn't say it was over any line. She just described what the game plan is. Tacit approval to me, if you ask me. And then Dana Bash, ladies and gentlemen, Dana Bash, watch. Dana, let me play devil's you know, Dana, let me, Dana, let me play devil's yeah. advocate for a second here. If there were police reports about a male candidate, they would come out too, right? You took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say that any time you have a situation like this, my uh, test of it is to say, what if it were a male candidate? In this case, yes, there probably would be a police report that, that would come out eventually if it was that bad. But then you have to go back to the question of, would it, it matter as much? I mean, would people go as crazy uh, over a, a male candidate who had, who would, uh, who had alleged issues in their own home with with a girlfriend or with the next husband or people shrug their shoulders and say oh that's just the way it is really really a male candidate accused or found to have been accused of domestic abuse people would shrug their shoulders but a female candidate who had a domestic dispute that's going to resonate that's going to ruin her are you kidding me isn't it the other way around more so than anything we, we don't tend to think of women as being uh, the, 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 the people at fault in domestic disputes, even though there are statistics that show that they are responsible for a, a, gr a good percentage of them, certainly not a majority. Here's more. As we saw Democrats do this back in 2010, Harry Reid, immediately when his challenger, Sharon Engel, a woman, won the primary, they spent about $2 million and they crushed her uh, early in the summer. She was never able to recover. And that's what you're seeing with Democrats right now. They're trying to crush uh, and, Monica and, Webby right now. They want to and, and Jake, if I may, just the reason why they are trying to crush her, and Mark's absolutely right, is because she does seem so viable. Yeah, but that's a good reason. So crush her. <laughs> But don't talk about Hillary. Don't talk about Hillary. Next. This, this candidate we're talking about is a, um, is a pediatrician. She is a, she's never been a politician before. And she is somebody who Republicans are so keen on that Mitch McConnell here in Kentucky, when he's got his own two front war going on, he made the point of bringing up her name in his dump speech. And so that's how much they're, they're relying on her uh, to, to expand the map in, when it comes to how many Democratic seats Republicans can take, because Oregon really wasn't, wasn't there in the initial run. So she must be crushed. Legit, it sounds legitimate to me. But don't talk about Hillary.